Hurricane Harvey update. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, how the heck are you? Uh, my friend Angela sent me this link. Thank you, Angela. This is texaspub.usgs.gov, Tex Water Dashboard, and you can see the flooding in live time. I also went and checked out a whole bunch of the traffic camera live cams. Houston, we have a problem. Now, just to give you an idea here what the legend is, you can see the different coloring. So let's move this over here. This will put into perspective additional halo marker indicates stream is above NWS flood stage. And then if you go southwest of Houston, there's actually a nuclear reactor by Bay City. Let's see if we can go down here a little bit. So in this vicinity, I need to be in slow again, of course, because I'm doing a podcast, and that's what happens when I start doing shows. But let's see if I can zoom out here. Na, 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 na. I'm zooming in. Okay, here we go. I mean, this is just intense. And then look at Louisiana. Louisiana's getting nailed along the coast. Places like Port Aransas, Rockport got hit really hard. Padre Island. Seemed to be, eh, Padre Island looks like avoided most of it down below Corpus Christi. Fortunately for Corpus Christi, there's so much oil and oil refineries out there. It's like the a capital of oil refineries, if you've ever been out in that area. But geez, just the flooding is insane. And then this is where the actual nuclear reactor is. Southwest of Houston. You can see just south of Bay City there. And if we pull back over here, you can see Bay City. This area right here is just coated, blanketed in this tropical storm, Hurricane Harvey. You can see Bay City's right there. Wow. Will you just look at it? So I don't know if you guys live in the area. If you're in Port A, Port Aransas, Rockport, Galveston, Houston, please send in images so we can share it with the world. We don't have to just rely on what the mainstream media gives us. You can definitely see this area where the reactor is, is definitely being affected. And there is some flooding out around Houston. They're saying it's as bad as it's ever been. So I'll keep you posted on that. Sometimes the media does a good job of stretching the truth in their titles, obviously. San Antonio, you know, I'm out here. It's not that bad. The roads seem fine. There's really not much. There's really no rain even right now. So, but Houston's just getting nailed. Now, how many people live in Houston? 2.3 million people live in Houston. That is huge. I mean, compare that to Chicago. It's about the size of Chicago. But the population of Houston's going up, whereas the population of Chicago is going down. You look at L.A., now there's about a little bit over – not quite double the people in L.A., but if you look at the overall area, the greater Houston population, you're at 5.6 million, and this was in 2007. With all the oil refineries out there, the population being as close to the coast. Here's the thing with weather manipulation now, weather wars, etc. Why even send in troops if you could just cause a mass downpour or a hurricane or a blizzard or a tornado? or a tropical storm, or flooding. It could save you a lot of time, money, and manpower if you could manipulate the weather and cause even more damage. So is Houston, is Texas being played in the galactic game or the global game of chess, and now Texas is being a pawn in the system? What do you guys think? Please send in your footage, guestbookings at leakproject.com. Stay safe. Be the change you want to see.